From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021 today in this recording, and it's a massive one. We'll be going over that monthly stimulus check and why there may actually be more checks for you, more months of checks than initially thought, and actually additional checks on top of that. I'll have all the breaking news, how much those Democrats want to give you, and when they want to give you. Then the second half of this video, we go over the two-path process, and why the two-path process may have a big surprise for you, and it's absolutely wonderful. You'll see that surprise for the first time on Afternoons LA. In the third part of this video, we'll go over how to call the vote, which is more important than when they call the vote, because how they call the vote is the critical issue to getting your fourth stimulus passed. And I have all the breaking news about that in this afternoon's broadcast. Then we also cut to fifth stimulus, and fifth stimulus will have another stimulus check for you next year. And ways your benefits up a lifetime, I'll explain to you how much and what the breaking news this morning from the Labor Department said about this number as well. And then we turn to the thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get. One viewer got 22000 Another last night got $12,000. It's your day to do it. It's your opportunity to get it. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon. I'm excited you're here. Let's get to the breaking news starting right now on Afternoons LA Light. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How you doing? One day away from the weekend, and I'm excited for you to join me. Are you excited for the weekend? I am. I'll be broadcasting, of course, all weekend long. There's going to be a lot of breaking news this weekend across the board, so stay with me. But how's the weather where you are? June gloom is gone, and here comes the, the July heat. <laughs> Uh, so not excited, <laughs> but so far it's okay here in Southern California. I, uh, you know, generally July is okay. Actually, our worst week sometimes in in Santa Monica are sometimes late August, early September, and sometimes it just it just really hits really hard. But July is usually okay. I don't want to jinx it. Hope the weather is good where you are. Jump in the live chat and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. But we got a big recording for you tonight to this afternoon. We're going to be going over that four stimulus check. The first part we'll be going over the ca check calculation. But why there may actually be more checks than we thought just a few days ago. Then we'll be going to the second part of this recording, which is the two-path process, and why there may actually be other checks in there for you on top of those stimulus checks we had never known about, and it's getting really quite delicious. Then in the third part, we'll be going over the two-vote to two path voting process and why how they call the vote is more critical than when they call the vote. I'll show you how this is happening and you'll see a big shocker that you're only going to see on this channel, nowhere else worldwide, about this four stimulus vote and you're going to be jaw dropping shock when you hear the revelation. Then we cut to fifth stimulus and it heats up this fall with another stimulus check for January 2022 and raise your benefits lifetime. I'll be explaining the details and the new labor numbers released this morning that impacts us. And then we cut to the big money that viewers like Nisi got $22,000. It's your day to get it as well. And this is Allied, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in this country, live in the morning, taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Evenings LA at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can just stay on this video. It'll automatically take you there. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record in one year. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like the video. Every time you like the video, it helps in the algorithm rankings, and it also brings back the Fort Pinto. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Don't say that. We don't want that back. And consider becoming a member. Purple Bow or Purple Hawk or Calcino VIP. The Opal? Should we bring back the Opal? Or the AMC Pacer? No, just none of those. <laughs> Let's get right to the four stimulus check amounts starting right now. The number of checks is really getting quite fascinating because of all the breaking news about these checks. Here we go. The House bill, pandemic plus one year monthly stimulus checks. So that's a lot of checks. The remainder of the pandemic plus one year. But the Senate proposal... July to December, so that's less checks. Let's go out the go over the payouts. The House one thousand dollars a month after the first month of two thousand. The Senate amount monthly unknown, but word on the street is the Senate Democrats want to pay you this. O M G thou that. 
is deliciousness, pure deliciousness. Imagine $2,000 a month over six months, $12,000 a person, or $1,400 a month over six months, $8,400 a person. If you're in the live chat just after 3 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, vote House or Senate and tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. But wait for this shocker first before you vote. Pandemic plus one year. Well, a week ago, we were saying that the legislators may just say the pandemic is over, and that would reduce you to just one-year checks, which would amount to $13,000. But the breaking news in the last two days have been this. One, L.A. County is leading the country's rail, leading the country's trail to put masks back on. As L.A. County recommended vaccinating persons to put masks back on when going inside because of the surge of the Delta variant in LA County. Number two, Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, the head of Berkshire Hathaway, the economist of all economists has said, the pandemic ain't over. What are we doing here? Well, if the pandemic ain't over, then the House bill would potentially give you more than just one year of checks. Wow. It could give you pandemic plus one year, which would amount to more than $13,000 from the House versus the amount from the Senate. This, <laughs> I think you have an opinion. Jump in the live chat right now, and your opinion may be different than it was a few days ago. House of Senate, House of Senate, tell me which one you like, and jump into the live chat. Vote House of Senate, and tell me where you're tuning in from, and who. How's the weather? Who gives us four stimulus check? Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. So if you're a single individual, 75,000 or less, Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. Married couple, 150,000 or less, Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. The beneficiaries, yes, the Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, and multiple beneficiaries. And finally, a family of four, Democrats want you to have a four stimulus check. The four stimulus check would be the same amount for everyone. The four stimulus check would not be taxable. It would not come as income. And the four stimulus check is monthly. It would not come in waves. So if you see the check at the surf shop today trying to turn up, put on a bodysuit to go surfing this 4th of July weekend, don't try to wave at the check because the check may get stuck in the bodysuit. <laughs> Hey, Shaq, I see you're trying on a new bodysuit. Cowabunga, my friend. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, can't wave. Is it because you're rude or because of the suit? I think it's because you're rude. No, it's just because the suit don't move. You know, it's, it's not a dancing pair. It's not a check. It's it's not, a, it's just, just a, I don't know. It's a check that can't serve also. So there you rude, check. There you go. The more stimulus check would come in the month of July. For the month of July, the Democrats represent. You know, I don't know if any Democrats can actually serve. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think Mitch can. Uh, then the month of August for the month of August. And the Democrats still represent that the final vote will be by July 4th, but I'll be explaining that later in this video. But there you go. That is your first of your three parts of your four stimulus check update 2021. In the second part, we'll be going over the two paths recon that has your stimulus checks in it and bipartisan that has stuff that you don't care about <laughs> somewhere else down the road and in the river. Um, and that's called the bipartisan. That's roads and bridges. I'll be explaining to you a shocking developing detail about this, which is absolutely wonderful. With the GOP set up, oh boy. I got this one for you. And then in the third part of the video, we'll be going over how the voting process is more critical than when they vote. You learned over the last two days that what day they vote is not the determining factor. It's how they vote. They can still get those stimulus checks out to you in the month of July. But let's get a free preview of the second half of this video, and that is fifth stimulus. It heats up this fall with another stimulus check. The same people who gave you third and fifth fourth and first and second stimulus checks represent they will be giving you a fifth stimulus check for January 2022. I'll be explaining to you how this works. I'll also be explaining to you the raising above your benefits a lifetime under fifth stimulus and more exciting news as well. So stay tuned for the second half of that video. But let's get some money. And boy, you have just been killing it. I got to really praise you. I got to bow down to you. I have never seen viewers do such a wonderful job as you have done in the last week or two. Jump in the live chat right now. And if you've done this before, do it again. Jump in the live chat right now and say any money you've gotten for this channel, whether it's $100 or 100 pennies. Um, I want to hear everything that you got. Guess what? We have massive success stories from viewers of this channel who have learned that this channel is not not about tracking the day a check arrives, but cashing checks. When third stimulus was passed, I said, yeah, you're going to get a $14 stimulus check, but you're going to be eligible for about $14,000. And suddenly, viewers understood. And Nisi 
$22,000. Yesterday, another viewer, 9,000, another viewer, 11,000. Over the last few days, we haven't almost gone, we have not even gone 24 hours without a viewer saying, I got $9,000, $10,000, $12,000 for your channel. It's a, rate, a repeat occurrence. So what's going on? That's what I do here. In spring of 2020, EID, and people were losing their homes and everything was just ravaging because of the pandemic. So I stepped in and I got people EIDL loans, saving their homes, their businesses, and their employees' homes. But in fall of 2020, it was just like now, when we were waiting for second, second stimulus to pass, and it wasn't passing, the holidays were here and people need money. So I got viewers a quarter million dollars of rent. The same thing I'm going to go over with you right now. And I got people like Tyrone, $15,000 for a family of four in Boston rent, carrying him the entire holidays all the way up to March. Let's go over the incredible details. We're going to go over rent, utilities, mortgage, and, and also homeowners utilities that you can get from this channel and get a pen and paper ready because I'm gonna show you the incredible details. We're gonna go over different places that have different eligibility. And if one says no, don't worry, you're gonna reach out to the next because each says has their own pot of money and one will eventually say yes. So get that pen and paper ready. And if it must be a Crayola crown, understand I'm not wearing muddled blue or murdered blue or teal or circle round or range of options. I'm not wearing those colors. <clears throat> I'm wearing blue. And don't give me that Casey Royals blue either. I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> Here we go. You're going to reach out to the following places for this money. Your city hall, your city housing authority, your county hall, your county housing authority, your state hall, and your state housing authority. The key words you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, rent assistance because of COVID, or mortgage assistance because of COVID. You don't say words that they don't know, like stimulus or Mitch's mixtape. I'm sorry, I just don't, oh, my ears. <clears throat> yeah, your ears are, I don't, yeah, I just, oh, the visual. Uh, with the bad chain, it is, oh, it's all awful. <laughs> it's a lobster chain with a big lobster, you know, made out of, you know, crushed uh, nickel. It's just awful. <laughs> I don't want to know. So don't say the words they don't know. And I had one nice viewer on Facebook said they reached out to their city, couldn't find it. You don't just reach out to the city. Reach out to the six places. Don't stop at one. Go out to the next. So there you go. Congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful money. And congratulations to, I think we're almost up to a half dozen viewers who have reported getting anywhere from about $7,000 to $12,000 for rent. I say rent is $5,000, approximately four to six months of rent. I'm wrong. Because <laughs> viewers are just getting nearly double what I'm saying that's available. So congratulations. And you can continue to get it. Oh, and the utilities. I'm so wrong with that. I used to always say utilities you know, 800, 900, maybe 1,000. I have viewers that said yesterday, uh, $3,000 for utilities. I mean, just enormous numbers for utilities. So if you got these numbers, jump in the live chat because it inspires me and it gives me an informational back, background of what's going on with other viewers. So it's just incredible. The next pot of money is Snap. It's just great. And John got, how much John did you get? John got either 12 or 14 thousand dollars he revealed to us this week it's just incredible now i know john has a couple kids but it's just incredible and i'm always talking about sixteen thousand dollars in hawaii but here's here's one of you it's got twelve thousand dollars it, Twelve to fourteen thousand dollars. It's just enormous. What is SNAP? It is money for food. It comes from Department of Agriculture (DOA). So reach out to Department of Agriculture, and congratulations to Lynn Glenn who got it for her son, her mom, and her and herself. Gail who got it. But we've had viewers who get five, six, seven thousand on a routine basis. But now we see viewers reporting a thousand dollars a month, twelve hundred dollars a month. Which, as you, if, <laughs> if you have Larry Cuddle's calculator, you realize that's twelve thousand dollars at least a year. It's just enormous. So how do you do it? Reach out to Department of Agriculture culture. And how much does it pay? Well, family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Wow. Why are so many people getting so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raised your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. Congratulations to Art, who has gotten the three items, rent, snap, and other items from this channel. And viewers just continue to get this big money. Congratulations to you, all of you, and continue to do it. And you're killing it. I'm killing it. Uh, $5,000 for rent, $15,000 for stamp for family four. And we are only 14 minutes of the video. Wow, we're running long. Uh, the check, you're not killing it with that wetsuit. Let's get into the other two pots of money. And they are first, the money coming back from your states. The states have been ordered to return money back to you. $5,000 one viewer got. What is it? This is the money that they have been paying you for overpayment due to computer error. Well, this federal government has ordered the states to return the money back to you. So where's it going to land? Direct deposit. How do you track it? 
Uh, call up your state and say, hey, state, where's that money due to the um, overpayment of unemployment benefits um, because of computer error? Um, can you track it with a computer that actually works this time? And finally, the last pot of money came from got for, land in the hands of Cod, Margaret, and Michael. What is it? It's the refund check from IRS. If you're in the live chat, jump in there as well and say you got it. How much money are you going to get? Where are you going to get? Let's go over all the details. First, let's say you had $9,000 of total unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of total taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations. You are getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit. When? This month. Can you track it? Yes. Go to irs.gov. Set up a username and password and do a transcript search. You'll be shocked what you will reveal about 70% of the time. It will reveal the tax return you file. The taxes you're paid. Um, what is um, Mitch's favorite uh, Beyonce song that he sings? <sighs> ah, the visual. <laughs> and when are you getting that refund check? And when are we getting some earplugs also? <laughs> and with that, let's get to the second big update of your fourth stimulus check starting right now. Boy, very, very exciting details. You know, as we go into Thursday afternoon... We have all the wonders of now two weeks of people understanding that there always was there money there for you. What had happened was before a week ago, a week ago before yesterday, um, there was only one path and it was recon. And as of last Wednesday, not yesterday, but a week before, we now have two paths, recon and bipartisan. Here's what you need to know is that your stimulus checks we're always in the recon, but now everyone really understands that they are always been there. Let's recap. Uh, three weeks ago, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer met with the President of the United States when we only had a recon, and your stimulus checks were in the recon. All the other checks for you were in the recon. And they met with the President and said, Mr. President, um, the recon is too big. Let's spin some things off. And then finally, uh, they made the agreement last Wednesday, not yesterday, but a week ago, where they said, let's spin some stuff out of recon. What should we spin off? Roads and bridges to their own spinoff TV series, Nash Bridges. Uh, no, not the one of Don Johnson's. <laughs> bipartisan is called. It's called Bipartisan. And it only has roads and bridges, to which your stuff remained where it always was. Your stuff stayed where it always was. Enforced stimulus, checks, climate, cares economy, money for children, money for seniors, money for medicine. It's still where it was, whereas roads and bridges were spun off into the bipartisan. And instead of just recon, now we had your money still where it was in recon and bipartisan spun off with roads and bridges. Two wonders came out of that. Two wonderful things came out of that last week. Number one, identity. Finally, you had an identity that all your money it was in the recon. Over the last three weeks, naysayers were always saying, there's nothing in there for you. It's only roads and bridges. To which we said, um, you're not understanding this. This is a very massive recon. that has a lot of stuff in there besides roads and bridges. Finally, <laughs> once they took out the roads and bridges and put it in the bipartisan, the naysayers were like, oh, I can't say that anymore. I can't say that anymore. There's other stuff in the recon. I can't say there's nothing in there for you anymore. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Because now your roads and bridges excuse is in a separate bipartisan is in the bipartisan, uh, but the naysayers were actually put to put to a slow death by someone else. Mitch McConnell, <laughs> he came in and he started trashing, trash talking the the recon, and he helped us because he told American people what was in the recon, and sort of silenced the naysayers on our behalf. So what did he say? It's a democratic wish list. It's a socialist policy. It's just a lot of um, checks for people who don't need checks. And it's just checks for Democrats that just want to give checks to people. And they just stop, should stop giving checks. Well, thank you, Mitch. <laughs> your check tip is in the mail. Uh, he just sort of did our work. Suddenly we had an identity, and your recon had identity, and your stimulus had identity. Now. The second thing though, that became really wonderful about this was that finally your recon had a protected fort around it because suddenly your recon was only one thing and one thing only. And what is it? Progressive policies. And so suddenly the progressive caucus, which maybe in 2020 you may have said was more fringe, was now the core, the center of the most important legislation of 2021, the recon. It's progressive policies, by progressives, with a president who's vowing to support and introducing his own progressive policies. 
And for some reason, this was spoiled to us in a spoiler over two weeks ago, and we did not realize what was going on. You're going to see throughout this recording, there's a series of quotes that date back over a week ago, and they were hinting about what they were going to do. And you're going to see for the first time on Afternoon's LA that I am on the cusp of re revealing a major shocker to you about recon that no one in broadcast media has picked up until me today. And you're going to see the shocker later in this video. So Brian Schatz, a progressive in the, in the Democrat from Hawaii, had said over a week ago that the White House had told him that the progressive priorities in the recon are the White House's own priorities. Well, obviously, that's pretty obvious because looks what, look what is in recon. It's checks, which is progressive. It's climate, which is progressive. It's electric vehicles. It's progressive. It's checks for electric things, checks for seniors, checks for medicine, checks for children. It's all progressive. And then Jalapal, that same day, this is um, a week and a half ago, had said that the president had told her to keep on doing what she's doing and that he supports her policies. This is wonderful news. Now, suddenly we got the wonderful benefit of this because everything we needed to protect was in recon and everything that was in recon was progressive and everyone who's supporting the fort around the recon are progressives very very obvious and easy wow how do we get to this wonderful spot we got to this wonderful spot from Jalapal, who had written schumer letter saying chuck call the vote but that letter was signed by 10 house democrats who are among the 100 plus house democrats who had written the president a letter saying mr president will be putting monthly stimulus checks in the fourth stimulus package wow now that is wonderful news can we top that yes as seven house democrats who are on the subcommittee of the house who wrote your third stimulus recon checks wrote the president a letter saying we're going to be doing a fourth stimulus recon checks and guess Guess what? In the fall, we're going to be doing this stimulus recon checks. These are also the same people who wrote your first and second stimulus checks. Wow. Now that is wonderful news. More about these recon check writers later in this video. But can we top that? We can. As the President of the United States two weekends ago went overseas to get ancillary legislation signed into law about corporate taxes internationally, which are used to pay for recon not for bipartisan. Remember, corporate taxes are used to pay for the recon. Bipartisan is paid for by staying away from corporate taxes. You say corporate taxes to Mitch and he starts to sing like he's, um, <laughs> like he's the bad version, like he just doesn't know how to rap. Uh, <laughs> he, oh, he just makes him very angry. He, he hears about taxes. So what did the president do? The president went overseas and got and had reached out to countries and said, you know, we're doing this thing in America called for stimulus. We're raising corporate taxes, but I'm worried that country, that our businesses may move overseas to where the corporate tax rate is lower. So he reached out to those countries with lower corporate taxes and said, raise them up, raise them up, raise them up. And they said tentatively yes, to which he reached out to his staff. Staff? Let's go meet these countries in December for Christmas and bring them some potpourri and Jill's favorite potpourri and have them sign on the dotted line. To which the staff said, Mr. President, it's June. You can send potpourri in June. <clears throat> oh, okay. So the president two weeks ago went overseas and got those countries to sign on the dotted line which anchors for the stimulus recon to the edge of the finish line. Because now the issue about corporate taxes internationally is in the international agreement, and that anchors for stimulus recon to the finish line because only recon concerns corporate taxes, now making it easier for the Democrat caucus to pass for stimulus recon because he doesn't have to touch anything about international taxes. They're covered in the international agreement. Wow, now that's wonderful news, and it's also really good plotting. But boy, in the third part of this video, you're gonna see the most important part of today's four stimulus check update, which is how they vote on it, not when they vote on it. And for the first time ever on Afternoon's LA, you're gonna see a major shocker I'm gonna to reveal to you. I don't think anyone has thought this through. I'm the only one I've seen anywhere in broadcast media cover the subject about the voting process. You're gonna be shocked, and you're gonna be, aha, yeah, I see that too you are going to be shocked. So stay to the very end of this extended afternoon's broadcast. Also coming up, fifth stimulus, we're raising up your checks across the board. Benefits, but first, the volunteers. They're even more wonderful than stimulus. If you need help with rent, utilities, or SNAP, and you haven't been able to get it, don't worry. If you're in the live chat and you haven't posted yet what monies you've gotten for rent, utilities, or SNAP, post it again right now. Because as viewers start to see it, whether it's $100 or $200, whether it's Art with three items or Nisi with $22,000, or John with $12,000 for SNAP, 
I want you to post it because viewers will see it. And if you have not gotten it, I want you to get it from the volunteers. They're salt of the earth. They truly embody the purple power spirit. How do you find them? You go to the description of this video, open the description, and you'll find an emoji of a house. Next to the emoji of a house is a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. There are the volunteers separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They'll help you get that rent, that $5,000, $6,000, $10,000, $12,000 for rent, that SNAP. That $4,000, $5,000, $6,000, $12,000 for John for SNAP. They'll help you get that utilities. Now we're seeing numbers bigger than $900. We're seeing numbers up to $3,000. And also that homeowner's utilities as well. But they cannot cook you. It's just a startup. <laughs> <laughs> they cannot tell you when is mixes when is Mitch's mixtape drop date. <laughs> you want to take cover when it drops. <laughs> <laughs> but they can get you everything else. And here's a little bit about the volunteers. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with a huge second up, final update about your force stimulus check update. Force stimulus check in this monstrous mega afternoon's LA broadcast. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now on Afternoons LA. Coming up next is Evenings LA in just 90 minutes from now. Stay on this video and it'll automatically take you to Evenings LA tonight. And boy, it's going to be a massive shocker of a video. I don't want you to miss it. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers, a YouTube record. I want you part of this channel. Hit that subscribe button right now. Also, like this video. Every like helps in the algorithm rankings. It also delivers a sign of parsley. And consider becoming a member. In the second part of this video, we'll be going over the big shocker about four stimulus. Oh my goodness, you're going to be so delighted. And then we cut to fifth stimulus with those big money across the board. But let's start first with that fifth stimulus starting right now. Fifth stimulus involves first those Democrats in that House subcommittee who wrote your third stimulus recon, wrote your fifth stimulus recon, now representing that they're writing a fifth stimulus recon in December and later this year. When are they going to do it? They're going to do it in September, call for a vote in October, November, and then the checks would go out next year. We don't know much about the checks just yet, so viewers have been asking me great questions. I don't, we don't know anything about how they are formulated, but this will be for January 2022. Next, the president has dedicated $1 trillion, excuse me, $1 billion to Social Security Administration to ensure your checks land on time. This is fourth stimulus check, this is fifth stimulus check, and this is monthly benefits checks. This is money he's going to dedicate to the whole administration, computer systems, and staffing. It's wonderful news. Every day I have people ask me, and we certainly had a lot of people in yesterday's live chat saying, you're missing a second stimulus check. What you must remember is one, you must file a 2020 tax return, and two, on that tax return, you must request the missing check. 
If you don't do those two things, you're never getting the check. And if you've already filed a tax return and you didn't do it, you're going to have to go amend, see a tax preparer for that advice. So let's get to the big exciting news that started the day, which is the new jobless numbers release as every Thursday morning. It was good. The new jobless claims dropped, so that's good. Doesn't really make much of an impact on fourth of his stimulus because it was not a particularly great number. It just improved. But... It was a good number. The second number helped fourth stimulus because the continuing jobless claims number was still very large. It was a very large number. This is people continuing on employment. Well, what did we see yesterday? We saw lumber numbers drop, the largest drop in one month ever in history. I think it was 40% in one month. It was enormous. We also saw yesterday and the week before and the day before um, new price points like home sales going straight up, really straight up, obviously, because lumber's cheaper. So that signals inflation. And a week ago, you learned a lot from this channel. You learned that inflation is going up. You learned that inflation is going up later this year. And you learned that inflation will be the highest point of a generation. And you learned that Jay Powell, you head of the Federal Reserve last Wednesday, not this Wednesday, but the Wednesday before that, said that inflation will reach its highest price point in December right when they apply your benchmark for the new program. Let's go over how this works again. So they're going to raise your benefits up under this SSI, SSDI, VA reform. They'll add a new inflationary benchmark, remove the asset limit, remove the income exclusion, remove the marriage penalty. Let's go over how this calculates starting right now. First, they'll raise your benefits up one big time. Then they'll apply a benchmark. That benchmark would be inflation, you know, and it's going up, you know, and it will be at its highest point in December, you know. Wow. So what is it left for us to know about? How big will that inflation rate be? And we won't know that till we get closer to when they apply it. But most analysts are saying about 10%. Let's go over the analysis. If the, benefit, if the inflation rate goes up and hits 10% when they apply that benchmark, your benefits will raise up not just 10% next year, but lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Wow. That is wonderful news. Next, they're going to remove the asset cap dating back to a 1980s law. This is you can't stay on benefits and also have more than $3,000 in hand. Now you'll be able to have some stimulus checks in your hand and a taco. <laughs> they're going to remove the income cap dating back to a 1960s law. This is you can't work and stay on benefits. And finally, love is going to win as the marriage penalty is going to go away and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. You'll no longer fear the marriage penalty and viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear the marriage penalty. But there you go. If you got any money from this channel, jump in the live chat right now. And as you see those people posting 5,000, 10,000, 22,000 for Nisi, and you see a purple hawk next to their name and emoji, and you wonder what's going on here, they're members. The way they found out about all this delicious money is by becoming a member. Members are delivered daily from me, a breakdown of the big money under third stimulus for them to get this money. Because when third stimulus passed, I said, yeah, you get a $14 stimulus check, but you rather have $14,000. And they're learned quickly, the viewers, as Purple Hawks, hawk, hawk, to pounce first and get this money. And the money's still available. So consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and pinned comment so you can learn how you get these thousands and thousands of dollars, a lot more than a stimulus check or checks. It's third stimulus, and it's available right now. And with that, let's go back to the finale of our massive fourth stimulus update of 2021 starting right now. You have learned so far in this video where your money is located. It's in recon. Where it still is, it's still in recon. What has been taken out of the recon, the bipartisan roads and bridges, how your recon has now gotten a very good identity because it is only progressive policies, and how it's very now protected by the progressives and the White House because it really is only progressive. So what's left in the analysis? One question. How are they going to call the vote? Now, certainly in any video throughout the next week or two, I expect viewers to say, not over the next few days, I should say, viewers is going to say, when are they calling the vote? If you see that comment, respond back to the viewer and say, the big question is how they call the vote. Here's what you need to know. Number one, if they call the vote today the wrong way, the bill dies and you never get anything. It, when you call a vote, you have one chance. That's it. So you can't call the vote the wrong way and rush it, and you don't have the done right, it would not end. That's the first thing. Number two, for anyone who says they're dragging their feet, it's absolutely untrue because you're going to see in this video how they have absolutely plotted this out brilliantly. Third, 
you're going to see how calling the vote, how calling the vote is more critical than when calling the vote because of what the Democrats have set up. But for the first time ever, perhaps anywhere and worldwide, you're going to see a coverage of the subject, which you may be shocked like I was when I unearthed it. Over the last 48 hours, I've told you that the Democrats have made very, very clear that the recon has to be voted on first or at the same time as the bipartisan, that the bipartisan cannot go for a vote first because the recon will die. Now, it's very easy to understand that the recon may die if it does not get voted on first. But what's not particularly clear, and the reason why I don't have the answer for you, is because they don't really know the answer, is what's really the difference between calling the recon for a vote at the same time or calling the recon, you know, a day earlier than the bipartisan. Here's what I want to tell you, is I think that they know what's going on, but they don't want to admit it. What's going on is the following, is that Democrats have gotten a real wonderful uh, feather in their cap. What is that feather in the cap? Because the roads and bridges are now out of the recon, the progressives now literally have a field day because everything in the recon is progressive and that the recon is now confirmed as actually growing more than it was a week ago. Yes, what's going on here? They're now piling in more items for you, other types of checks for you, like third stimulus. Remember, under third stimulus, there's a lot of other checks that you got besides you, and I mean single people, you, besides just a stimulus check, and they're starting to do that, the progressives. What's going on is that the Progressive Caucus has repeatedly told the White House in the last week that it will, intends to have a massive recon. Representative Elon Omar, Democrat of Minnesota, said that we, Democrats and progressives, have a commitment that regardless of what happens to the bipartisan legislation, the White House, that the Congress will give us, meaning we will give each other, a recon that goes as far as us progressives want it to go. Wow. What's going on here? And then, if you don't see this nail on the, if you don't see this 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 light bulb lighting up, Representative Richie Torres, Democrat of New York, says, "I refuse to vote on any bill that doesn't have the recon going first or linked to it." And he's added in his own progressive policies, housing, housing. I never heard anything about housing checks. What's going on here, Elite? And then Nancy Pelosi said the following. There ain't going to be no bipartisan unless we have a recon. And there won't be a, a bipartisan unless we have a recon. Plain and simple. In fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be a bipartisan unless we have a recon passed by the United States Senate. Wow. Now that is wonderful news. What's going on here is that the, the items are starting in the Senate. Bipartisan recon. And Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi are the only two people who determine when things are called for a vote, how things are called for a vote, and what's called for a vote. Chuck Schumer has the only authority in the Senate to determine that. And he is calling your recon first or concurrently with the bipartisan. And Nancy Pelosi is not accepting anything in the House of Representatives unless it has recon with it. And if you only send her bipartisan to the Senate, to the House, she's throwing the garbage. Wow. What's going on here? You're going to see for the first time ever my revelation that this has been a big potential setup by the Democrats to get you money. <sighs> Jalapal said on Monday that us Democrats have an agenda we need to accomplish. The agenda is not Rosenbridges, folks. <laughs> the agenda is the recon. Us Democrats and progressives did a poll of our members 10 days ago. 10 days ago? That's 10 days ago. That's about two weeks ago. That's about when the president was meeting with Chuck and Nancy. I see a reoccurring theme here. What's going on here? Let's read the rest of this quote. And that the overwhelming majority of our Democrat caucus and, and progressives said that we're not going to vote on the bipartisan unless we also have approval of the recon. What's going on here? You want a big, uh, bigger hint? There's a new, there's a new op-ed piece out in a, a political newspaper today. And it's the title of the, the op-ed says, Republicans shouldn't sign the bipartisan because it was a setup. What's going on? Well, not a setup. That it was, um, that there's no benefits to the Republicans to sign it. 
This is what the article said, the op-ed said. The higher the top line number is for the recon, the harder it is to pass. But by allowing the Democrats to take out of the, the, uh, of the, the recon, the bipartisan part, the roads and bridges, the overall number for the recon got smaller. In other words, the bipartisan made it easier to pass the recon. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that. I said that earlier in the video. That's what not Chuck and Nancy were doing. They were meeting with the president said, the recon's too big. Take out roads and bridges so we can pass it. This op-ed is opinion, but it's true. I mean, we already have the confirmation. That's why they took out roads and bridges so they could pass the recon. Wait, there's more to this. They have nothing, the Republicans have nothing to gain by blessing the bipartisan when an ungodly amount of money is going to go in the back door into the recon. Okay, folks, you see what's going on. You had the president, Jalapal, the Democrats, wanting to give you checks, climate, EV, medicine, children's checks, adults' checks, housing, all these enormous recon items that aren't roads and bridges. And they put in there roads and bridges into the recon initially and called it the infrastructure bill. To which people said, it's only infrastructure. I kept to say, no, it's not only infrastructure. It's very little infrastructure. It's mostly not infrastructure. And they were asked, how are you going to pay for it? Raising corporate taxes. Imagine you're going to say you're going to raise corporate taxes to pay for someone else's medicine. No one's going to buy that. Now, raising corporate taxes to pay for a defalling, for falling down bridge. Yeah, they'll pay for that. So... And then all those tours of the president across the country with the infrastructure signs behind them, pictures of bridges and pictures of roads. Did he ever have pictures of, uh, you know, social reform items behind him? No, of course not. Of course not. He's talking about the infrastructure. So what did he do? The Democrats and the Republicans said, okay, let's take the, let's take the infrastructure out because the Republicans claim they want infrastructure. Let's take it out and put it into the bipartisan because now it makes it easier to pass our recon, which really was going to be all about that. And now the Republicans are saying, wait a second, we got nothing out of this. All we got out of this was it made, we, us Republicans just made it easier for you to Democrats to pass your recon because you took out roads and bridges, which you probably really never cared too much about and put it in the bipartisan. Now you made it easier for us to, you, you now us Republicans made it easier for you Democrats to pass the recon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, suddenly, and guess what? If the Republicans and the don't pass the recon or the Democrats don't pass, excuse me, if the Republicans don't pass the infrastructure or the Democrats don't pass the infrastructure, then the blame game is, why didn't you pass the infrastructure? What's so hard to pass infrastructure? Now they've actually, whoever's behind the infrastructure, the bipartisan set themselves to for a fall because it's so obvious to pass it. Why would you not vote for it? It's just so simple. It's just, it's just roads and bridges. Why not pass for it? Whereas they're sitting back, the GOP, like Mitch, and furious that the recon has now been made easier to pass because the big ticket, one of the bigger ticket items of roads and bridges has been moved out and we're not even done there yet. Words on the street is the recon is getting more stuff added to it by the minute, by the progressives. Now that roads and bridges are out of it, they can beef it up again with more money in theirs across the board. This has been very well planned. Let's recap. We had a massive recon originally that had your money and then roads and bridges in it. Too big. So what did they do? They took roads and bridges out and they gave it as an option, as a bipartisan. If you really wanted Republicans, here it is. Go take it, bipartisan. Republicans said, or a few Republicans said, yeah, in a bipartisan agreement, yes, we'll take roads and bridges. To which the Democrats said privately, thank you. You now made it easier for us to pass our recon. Now it's easier for us to pass our recon. We don't need roads and bridges. That's over there. It's your job to take care of roads and bridges. We're going to go do our recon. And now we can ramp up our recon and make it bigger than it was before. If this sounds familiar, it should. In 2020, I detailed a lot of times, especially the HEROES Act with Nancy Pelosi, where it was $3.1 trillion, but $2.9 trillion of it <laughs> had nothing to do with stimulus, it had everything to do with salaries of government employees. And that 
ultimately, people started to realize, wait a second, is this stimulus? Is this not stimulus? We saw that in the C continuing resolution in December, where there was money for foreign countries in there when we was thought, thinking it was continuing resolution. Legislators have played this tactic before, where they want to give you something, but they call it something else, because calling it something else is easier to make it pass. Now that they got the pitch for the recon over uh, done because of bipartisan, now they can just pass the recon with all the wonderful checks that they wanted to give you. This is why it's so important to understand that when how they vote on it is not critical. What's critical is how they vote on it. The only thing that remains un uncertain and unclear at the moment is do they really need to vote on the two things together or can they just vote on the recon by itself? We'll certainly see those details in the next 24 hours as things are unfolding very, very quickly. But suddenly you see calling the vote too quickly on the recon would cause it to collapse and cause it to not pass. Setting this up brilliantly, which has been plotted out days after days, not dragging their feet, but preparing to get you all this delicious money, keeping it quiet, not talking about it broadly, not discussing the broadcast media, not printing it all over press, keeping it quiet has worked wonders for this process. And there you go. And with that, join me in an hour and a half from now for Evenings LA for a major recording. Boy, you see how this is a big show today. And also, then Overnight's Crypto at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. But first, subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. I want you to follow this channel. Hit that subscribe button. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. I want you to become part of this incredible family. And also, consider becoming a member so you get access to all the beautiful money that you can get. Become a viewer like Art, who got three items, or Nisi, who got $22,000, or viewers who continue to get five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000, it's your day to get as well. Stay informed, stay focused, stay on this video. It'll take you automatically to, to Evenings LA, and stay with LA for more.